Hello, hello. I think ooh, I'm two minutes later than I said I was gonna be. <laughs> this is where we're gonna see how many of you are um, late night watchers. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, I'm just, work did not want to let me. Hey, Diane. Work was going to hang on for every bit it could today. So I worked right up till 8 o'clock. Then I came home and Frank and I had a cheese sandwich. And now I get to show you something way cool. Because what I'm going to show you is actually a boo-boo. And then I, once I figured out how cool it was, I couldn't stop. <laughs> so, um, I meant right, Jess. Oh, jeez. Accountants, you know, people want their money. <laughs> so, so tonight, you guys, I'm, I'm still obsessed with these snowflakes. And for some reason, yeah, okay, mom. Yeah, let's see some magic because it is going to be pretty cool. So I'm still playing with these gosh darn snowflakes. And they are, for my surprise, I had to check before I got on, they are still available, which I just, I'm absolutely shocked. So they must have known that we were going to love them. So these are still available. But what I'm focusing tonight on are these little gems. So this is our shimmer paint. And it they brought it back. So what I'm going to show you tonight, don't wait because this stuff is in the holiday catalog. So chances are they're not going to carry it over. So last time they had this product, <laughs> I hoarded it. I'm not going to lie, I hoarded it. <laughs> I bought like, I think four or five bottles of it because I use it a lot. So um, what I'm going to show you tonight is different ways to use this and um, what I came across. So first... Um, the colors that they have right now are going to be copper and Vegas gold, which I thought was kind of funny. It's a yellow. And we just used this at Christmas class, and I was scared of it because it's so yellow, but holy smokes, wait till you see what we're going to do with this. So that's going to be the copper. And then we've got um, champagne. So it's a really kind of a very, very, very light gold with a little bit of silver. And then this is the one we used to have last time, which is frost white. And it's just a nice white. Um, the reason why I hoarded this is when I make boo-boos on my card, I will splatter some of this on, whether it be, um, you've seen me use the um, aqua pen, just shaking it on a card, but um, they're good ways to cover up imperfections. Another way that I use this is using, um, we, we sell these. These are going to be two to a pack, um, but all I do is put a little bit of water um, a little bit of alcohol in here and then some of the shimmer paint. You shake it up and you squirt and it's beautiful because it goes all over you get a nice shimmer. Okay so but what the accident that I came up with was I was playing with blue paper the other day and I'm going to show you. Well thank you Frank. I'm going to show you what I was doing. <laughs> so I was playing with um, we all you've seen me use these before. So these are brushos and they've got the tacks in there because this stuff goes a long way. But um, the card I was playing with, I think you've seen this one before. So this was the one that I had and all I did was use brushos by itself. And I was sitting one day going, I wonder what it would look like to add some shimmer to this because I wanted it just to get a little bit of frosty. So I started with the brushos again with the blue. Okay, it let it dry and then I'm like, hmm, how do I get that shimmer on? Well, first I started with this and I squirted and it was pretty, but then I took a sponge and I came up with this. So what this does is turns the paper into a hologram. Can you, hopefully you can see that through the camera. So this is using the brushos um, first and then I'm adding the silver on top and it was, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Oh, and it's gonna get better, I promise you. <laughs> so it was just dabbing on here, but if you notice that, you get kind of the splotches, the snowy. Okay, so that was my first attempt. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, um, but I bet I can take it to another step. So what I did then was take, the brush was completely out of it. Hey, Margie, she made it. 
So then I took Pacific Point, okay? And now I took just straight on shimmer paint with the sponge and I'm like, oh, okay, now this is cool. So if you look at it, and this is not this is not some kind of weird weird science. If you look, it looks just like Pacific Point. But as you move it, you get that hologram of like a blizzard. So this one, all I did was take and rub my sponge back and forth, okay? So I'm like, well, this is fun. Let's just keep going, right? So I'm gonna show you one other sample before I show you what it does. Here's another one. So I took the tree <clears throat> and this one, we had talked about this one in class too. I took and I actually inked this all the way up with Lime Aid and then came back with I believe it was a dauber and just added a couple more shades of green. But watch what happens here because now I added one more thing to this card, ready? See the snowflakes? Is that not cool? So this is on gray granite and it's putting the champagne shimmer on the paper. And then I took my white ink and put the snowflakes all over but is it it came out to be the coolest effect and I was just shocked that it did it so you get that kind of hologram looking to it but they're really pretty and they're super easy so I'm going to just show you how I did this uh, let me see I'm going to take my grotto so I, I, I hoard my cardboard that all our paper comes in I move our snowflakes up here and as you see I've been playing I've been using it lovely lovingly and I found out that using this technique, it's better to use it on dark, dark paper. The darker, the better. So I'm gonna show you navy first. And what you're going to do, look at this nasty sponge. So I've been using every color on here and I kinda like it because then you can see all the magic. So we're gonna start with copper. I wanna show you all the colors on here. Hey, Diane, I see you, another Diane. It's Diane Odegaard. And so using this, now you can do this two different ways. This is scrap cardboard, but you can also take the rubber mats that we have and put it on there too, but um, I don't wanna clean it up later and this way I can throw the cardboard away later. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of copper here. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it off so I'm not wasting the copper. How about, let's put the cover on just in case I get wild here on the table, okay. And of course, I'm a southpaw, so I gotta turn my paper. So I'm going on Night of Navy, and all I'm gonna do is pick up some of this copper, and you're gonna wisp it on the paper. I haven't tried copper yet on here, so on my samples, you'll see why. But, um, oh yeah, the copper on the navy is kind of pretty. Okay. And it's just swiping that on there. Isn't that pretty? So that's copper, all right? And then let's do Vegas gold. We'll kind of go dark to light here. So we'll put a little bit of Vegas gold. And this is the one, if you came to Christmas card class, you'll know I'm like, oh, I don't like that Vegas gold. And we started using it and it was like, whoa, it's way, way prettier when you start playing with it. I think, did I see Marty online? Yes. Is that with our tools? Yes, you could be using, which, which one? What's with your tools? You tell me what you're looking for there, Miss Marty. Okay. And I like, um, so this one I'm just gonna blend them together. And you wanna do a really light hand because you want some of that paper to, is it holy moly, that is kinda cool. So that's the Vegas gold next to the copper. Okay. But you wanna do it with a light hand too. I find that it works better so you can see some of the, oh, I have from Friday class. The sh the, are you talking about the shimmer? Because this, yes, this is the shimmer that we used at class. Because I'm going to show you, I'm not even done, not even close to being done showing you what's going on because I have some beautiful samples here. And Tembuck says my mom, who is watching, is going to try to steal one of these cards that I'm going to show you. <laughs> She's going to go nuts all over it. I just know it. Okay, so now I'm going to use... Um, we're going to Champagne Mist next to the Vegas Gold. Okay, now granted, I've got all the colors on my sponge. Oh, but I like it. We're kind of missing those. 
Are they pretty? Oh man. I'm gonna turn this piece of paper into something when we're done. I'll figure that out. All it takes is a good snowflake. Okay. Which one's your favorite so far? Could you use, yes, Marty, correct, yes. And I'm gonna show you the tools in a minute because um, there's another way that you can mix these. I'm gonna turn this now so I don't get it all over my hands. I'm gonna show you how to use those tools in a minute, Marty, so hang tight. So this is going to be the frost white. Ooh. So there's all four of them in action. What's your favorite color on these? I don't, gosh, I don't know if I have a favorite. I'm really liking the copper on the navy, and this is on navy cardstock, okay? So that's just swiping it back and forth, okay? So now the next thing I'm gonna show you with this is the frosted white, the reason why I also gravitated toward this is because you can mix ink into this. And now I could just show you Marty's, Marty's asking about, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And this, what I'm going to do, actually I'll leave this here. Mm, no, I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna put this aside so I don't make a mess. How about that? So now I'm really going to use this rubber sheet because what I'm going to do is mix some ink into the frost white. Now, could you do this with the other colors? Absolutely, but the frost white, I want it to be able to pick up the ink that I'm going to add to it. Hang tight here, let me wipe this off. Because you can take, and for some reason, again, I'm not a Viking fan, but I keep pulling purple out for some reason. <laughs> Highland Heather, I'm gonna mix some, I'm just gonna put one drop. I'm not sure what the purple stuff is. I don't, and I'm sure my mom's dying laughing. I'm not a purple, I'm not a purple lover. Okay, so I took just one drop of reinker, and now I'm gonna take this is the tools that you got at class, Marty. So now you're gonna take this, look at here. Now you can make that frost any color you want it to be, and you're just mixing in. Oh, we can go darker than that, right? So it's another way to use that frost. To me, the frost white is definitely something to add to your arsenal. So then you're gonna take this rubber and just keep, the rubber is nice because it lets you work this medium together. Ooh, that is a pretty, like a lavender color. So now when we put this on paper, I should try to grab white so we can see what that purple. Purple is just pretty. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite sure you're a Viking fan, Miss Marty. So of course you would say that, right? <laughs> Let me get, I'm gonna get some white and I'm gonna get a clean sponge so we can actually really see that purple. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. So remember our sponges come this way. I had new ones, so I'm gonna cut it in half and then I cut it again because we don't, nope, just like purple. Praise the Lord, not another Viking fan. Okay, you've been redeemed, Marty. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this sponge, I'm gonna pick up some of this beautiful purple and now I'm gonna just swipe it on the white. This, I like this because um, it's not just for Christmas, you can, I was thinking some of these uh, paper, oh my goodness, it is really pretty. Hang on, let me get it on here and I'll bring it up to the screen. Except now, see, I got all excited and now I'm getting it on the table. So again, protect the surface, are you ready? Ooh, it's pretty. Hopefully that comes through. It is the lightest lavender you can think. But how pretty, even on sympathy cards, birthday cards, Christmas cards, of course, and then you, this one would be a pretty with a snowflake on it, of course, a glitter one, here's a silver one, okay? You're getting the idea. See, there's a lot, and I'm to me, this is a really cheap investment. If you look on here, these bottles are only $8, so all four of them are still available. Oh, springtime, that would be a good one, too. Um, I know I'm gonna be stocking up on these, because 
if they don't bring them back again, I need to be prepared because I love this stuff. Like I said, I add it to cards for boo-boos, all that good stuff. So these are available right now. You ready to see my beautiful samples? I'm gonna move this because I do not want to get, when, you'll, when you see them, you're gonna understand why they, I'm gonna be cocky tonight. They're beautiful. <laughs> Cause um, one of them in particular, I'm gonna wait till last. Hang on just a second, let me wipe this off before we get it all over. Cause it makes me want to redo some of my Christmas cards and actually um, Marty and mom are watching. Anyone else that's part of Christmas club, we might, we might have to change up the Christmas cards when you see these. All right, let's start off with this one. Okay. So here's one that's kind of inspired like the first one I had. So this is um, using gray granite paper with the Vegas gold, you ready? So let me move it here so you can see how pretty, see the snowflakes, how they show up, they show up <laughs> and then they go away. So this is using that nice snowflake and then I added some with some gold dots, okay? I like that stamp set because if you look here, look at sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season, okay? So this one's pretty. They're gonna keep stepping up here, okay? And then we got this one. So this is kind of like the other one too, but I am just in love with this snowflake. So I'm gonna move, this one I was looking for just a plain, um, kind of like when the, in Minnesota, when it gets really, really cold, you get frost on the windows. So this one, I did the swiping this way and you'll see here when I move it, you just get that frosted appearance and you can see the paper coming through, okay? And then I just added a couple of snowflakes and then of course the greeting, look at this one. Each snowflake is a beautiful sparkle and special just like you. So what I like about that stamp set, I'm gonna show you that stamp set in a minute too so you can see it, but this one again is using the brushos and then I added the shimmer to it, okay? You ready for my favorite one? Mom, get ready. I know you're gonna steal it. And Marty, that's I used Vegas Gold. You ready? Look at this one. So this one, ready? Look at the snowflakes, how they show up. And so this one, I stepped it up a little bit. So this is using um, Night of Navy paper. And this is going to be using Vegas Gold. Let me look here, Vegas Gold. I think I used Vegas Gold champagne and the frost a little bit but look at how it changes. Isn't that cool? And the snowflake stamps are part of the stamps that I'm gonna show you as well. And then I use the gold snowflake, right? <gasps> cool, you love it. This one, I'm not lying. This one was my favorite and it was, it's so stinking easy. I think that's why I loved it so much because you're just adding that, uh oh yeah, mom's stealing this one. <laughs> So, and this one too, just to make this pop a little bit, if you notice, it's not, I actually used, um, oh goodness, blueberry, what was that one? Blueberry bushel, I should have just went with my gut. Blueberry bushel, just to make it pop, just a little bit, because if you use, I have a navy, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. The navy kind of got washed out a little bit, but just looking, changing up that blue, it just makes it pop a little bit. My first... Me first is <laughs> Yeah, you stinkers. So when I was making this one though, I went, do you guys remember this stamp set in the catalog? So this one I thought would be pretty on that paper. So just doing the paper and then there's a framelit that goes with this over that blue paper. So like this in gold, wouldn't that be a pretty Christmas card with just the Star of David on there? I just, oh man. So I have this one out, I'm gonna try this. Actually, maybe I'll do it, I might try it on this paper. But this one is a good set and it's in the annual catalog that I, sometimes we forget to go back to the annual because we get so excited. But this, yeah, this is my favorite. So it's a very easy technique. Hopefully you guys have fun with it. Um, but again, that shimmer paint, all four of these right now, are they're in the holiday catalog and they have not said if these are being held over yet. Okay, so don't wait on them. So a few things that I want to talk about because we're running into um, some things getting. So the stamp sets that I use tonight and the snowflakes, remember, is part of this snowflake showcase. And right now, currently in the U.S., if you're a U.S. customer, all of these items are still available, which is shocking to me because 
I am absolutely loving, especially this one. We've used it a couple night, a couple times now on Facebook Live, but this is the one that has those cute verses in it. Okay, I'll just try. <laughs> oh, good gosh, those two are in cahoots now. I'm gonna hide that sample. <laughs> so we still have um, the framelits here too, and this is the white velvet paper. And so I know it's you can't see it in the video, but it's it's um it's furry. And then these are still available to these little trinket, the trinkets, the snowflake trinket trinkets. So these are still available right now. Okay. And then there's a few things that I want to talk about because this is the time of year where we get excited. So I'm going to write, I didn't do, you know me, I'm not too terribly fancy. So I wrote some things that you guys need to be aware of. So first, online extravaganza. If you have not seen this before or know what it is, get ready. This is Stamp It Up's Black Friday, but we do it for multiple days. Um, I want to say it was probably maybe four or five years ago. They went crazy one day and the big shot was half off. Okay, so they get a little nuts during this time. Make sure to have your online account, your shopping account with me set up before the 23rd because they typically do a 24 hour sale on the 23rd. So that'll be kind of craziness on that day. And then they usually do one at the end, but then there'll be stuff that's available through the whole thing. But they've been very generous during this time. So just make sure you're prepared on the 23rd. As soon as I know it's gonna be in the sale, I'm gonna post it on my Facebook page so you can see it. And I do believe I will have that in my hot hands on the 20th. So that's coming up again. November 30th, so that, snow, that snowflake showcase that I just showed you, you have till the 30th or when they sell out, okay? So that's going to be the snowflake dies, this one, and then this stamp set that we've been using. And again, the, snow, the, the um, stamp sets are photopolymer because I know you guys love those. See? Look at how much I've used it. <laughs> the poor thing's been, been abused for quite, for quite some time. It's only been in my arsenal for about a month, Okay. So those of you that are local with me, I want to point this out because this sale is huge. So December 1st, Holy Cross, which is over by Costco in West Fargo, we will have 80 vendors. So it is the largest show, um, privately held show, which is a church show um, in the state of North Dakota. So I will be at this event and so will my mother. She's going to be the entertainment. She's going to sing and dance for you. <laughs> so this is going to be, oops, sorry. This is going to be from 10 to 3 on December 1st. And then my last class of 2018 is December 8th. And this one too, I'm going to warn you that I'm, I'm doing prizes and they're going to be big prizes. Um, I am giving a Stamparatus away this day. So you get, you've been warned. Um, and then I am going to cap this off. So I think I'm, I'm, when I reach, I'm thinking no more than 20. So if we reach that, I'm going to cut it off because we want to make sure everyone gets their projects done. And then there's going to be goodies. I'm going to have cookies and treats and lots of things that you can win. So make sure that you get signed up for that. So, and that's it for tonight. We made it. You, there's lots of you that like to be on late. So maybe we should. Late always works better for me. So, you know, but hopefully you like the ideas. I will get po um, pictures of these posted and then if you have any questions damn we need to do a road trip right <gasps> the lumbergs come into moorhead oh that would be fun um that class is actually going to be um i've got some 3d items too i'm going to be showing sneak peeks of those because it is going to be a little bit of a unique class um we will have cards and 3d items to pick from so um there's more information coming for that. So thank you for tuning in tonight. And if you have any questions, let me know and have a wonderful rest of your evening. I think I'm going to take Frank for a jaunt. I can't say the word because he knows what it means. <laughs> so have a good night. Thanks for tuning in.